Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be doing an unboxing of this Track Life Power Meter US version. So one of the things my wife brought up to me is, Honey, do you know how much power you're using down there in the basement? And uh, I said, no, not really. And she goes, well, here's the bill. So it got me to thinking, how much power does a 3D printer use? So, and what is the power cycle of a 3D printer? You know, is it heats up? Does it consume more power? So I thought it'd be interesting in experimenting with that. So I ordered this power meter. I kind of looked at a couple different power meters and I kind of settled on this one because it looked kind of cool and had the features that I was looking for. So, uh, tackles life's problems. So, Anything that tackles life's problems, problems, I'll spit that out, it's getting later at night here, has to be good, right? So let's go ahead, nicely shrink-wrapped box, barcodes, all kinds of stuff on it. Um, Shenzhen Timi Technology, hey, guess what, it came from Shenzhen, no surprise there, right? Um, so pop this out, and uh, the other thing I like about it is very professional looking, and... Uh, so take it out of the, and obviously it has some battery in here because it wants me to pull this. Uh, oh, there is a little book. I didn't think there was a little book. Uh, there's all kinds of little stuff in here. Warranty card. So I got a little warranty card. Like I'm going to take this back to Shenzhen. But uh, hey, nice. I got a little card to throw away. Fill up landfills. And then I've got the manual here. So, wow. Uh... Looks like part in maybe Portuguese and um, English. I don't know if that's... Looks like it's got several different languages here. Uh, so, kind of basic. Uh, but it looks like it's got some kind of little tab here you're supposed to pull off. And uh, the thing I always find interesting is, is you notice that in a lot of the Chinese product, uh, the battery covers always have a screw because it's easier than designing the clip and uh, all that kind of stuff. Interesting thing, it's got an earth here and it even tells me that it's an earth. So that's pretty cool. Got some QR code there. Uh, but anyways, uh, apparently you can put in input your kilowatt cost and things like that. I like this because it has a big screen on it, um, a big area here so you can do a wall ward or regular plug. And the way it plugs in, I can get some good video of this because, again, sort of like the uh, air meter, um, you know, I'm going to have to do video on this because there's really no data logging on this. And I don't want to pay 18 billion bucks and get one with data logging. So, anyways, let's uh, go ahead and give this a test and see what it looks like. Okay, welcome back. So, we have it plugged in um, to the Tron XC. It's sitting on top of the control box for the CR10, but that's right because it's right next door. Now, I do have it plugged into a power strip only for the purposes of... of uh, being able to videotape it because obviously I got to plug it into something. This is a quality power strip, and you notice this is the only thing plugged in. So uh, again, I'm not a big fan of using power strips as uh, longer-term solutions for 3D printers or any type of uh, tools of this nature. Uh, however, getting down to the meter, uh, as you can see, I've just got the uh, Tron XE idling, so there's no heating elements running on it whatsoever, and you see it's pulling basically 0.129 amps because we can actually cycle through the modes here and get different modes so we can get power factors. So it's got a power factor of 0.72. Uh, we got, I'm not sure what this is. Oh, frequency, sorry. It's hard to read this far away with my glasses. So frequency 60 hertz, which is what I would expect. Uh, voltage 122.3. And then again, current uh, 0.129. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to uh, warm this up and I've now activated PLA bed. So the bed's going to attempt to heat to 70 C and you can already see the current draw jump up to basically 1.43 amps roughly. So it's, it's hanging in there. So I'm doing this for a little bit of ulterior motive. I'm, I'm experimenting a lot with the Tron X here right now and doing some mods. So this meter is also going to help me do that, and you'll see this in an upcoming episode. But one of the things I kind of wanted to show, the different basic functions of the meter. So uh, again, we can set a number of different things. I've done some overlays on the screen to kind of give you an idea, and I also have a link to this meter down below. But I think this is actually very interesting because, again, I'm going to do some videos 
where I actually track the power usage throughout the cycle of a 3D print and take a look at you know how all that comes out. So anyways, just wanted to share this with you guys. If you, uh, I have a link for this down below if you're interested in, in this meter. And uh, if you have one that you really like or something, let me know in the comments below which one you like or what one you've used uh, for success. Especially if it has a data logging function and it's not hugely expensive, I'd be really interested to hear about it down below. Um, also, don't forget, Swag Shop's going to be up there and the subscribe button's going to be eventually coming up over there. Put out regular content. Comment below as always. And we'll see you guys in the next video as we're tracking power now. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up.